to go over season five, episode two, Don't Sweat the Technique, a Vol American. Jordela. <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking. Take it back to the top. There was more. Starting from the top, we have... Oh, let me just say two. It's not even two, two episodes. But these last two episodes, these opening scenes that they've been having have been so strong, so good. I've been locked in. So this week, we get them there at the bowl game, right? Which I was a little... I wasn't confused. I was just thinking on it because I'm like, when we ended All American last week, you know, we, they were prepping to go to the bowl game. Um, Jordan didn't know if he was playing or not. You know, he's just trying to figure that out. And then we get to homecoming last week and they were in ATL already. So now I was trying to calculate because I was like, Dad, I don't, remember, I don't remember if they were already playing at the time last week on homecoming and then it was like a continuation of seeing it from this perspective here with everyone else who was back in beverly watching them play in atl or if they were just like prepping over there when they were on homecoming and this is where it officially picked up with the actual game as like oh this is a quick recap of what was happening when they was up in atl for that bowl game and i think that's what it was i don't know but i know it was good and it gave me some good stuff with the girls back at the house y'all we're at this house right lip girl is so focused on this game because we know she's still working on her article she need all the facts she gotta put all the facts together before she make her case although we gonna see later she was kind of bringing up a little too quick to somebody i was like girl no not yet but my girl lele y'all listen here lele girl is here she don't even care at this point her boo is playing on that field she gonna support him <laughs> Jor, did you see him make that throw? I said, girl, I saw it. We see what it is between them. This girl, she cannot contain her excitement when it comes to him and her man out there doing what he do. He was struggling. But he was trying to do what he do out there in the times that he was succeeding out on that field. She sure enough was letting everybody know. But it's also good because at this point, they all still, they're all in their own worlds. They got their own things going on. They cheering for their own people. They researching their own stuff. They focus on their own meals. Patience, girl. So the fact that we see <laughs> what is happening with her, she can't hold it. She can't hide it, but she hiding it from them. They're not trying to see it right now. Live girl got a lot going on over there. Cool, she over here cheering for her homeboy her bro and then patience girl all right patience girl she focused on her meal right it was her commentary for me every every chance she could get the looks they're giving this girl throwing in her little side things just did not care patience had no cares for this she was like you know what? i'm fresh back from vacation i'm not trying to watch football right now these are that's not my man out there on that field and she's sitting next to coop girl which i was like yo they're sitting here as if she ain't have girl pack it up and then was like oh nah actually we can't do this no more you know and that's why she had to get away and go to jamaica for a little while there she's just sitting here chilling also patience girl being so focused right now on her phone and you know just glancing over time to time just like throw out her little her little two cents about wanting to eat and everything be ready to eat she wasn't catching on to Lele girl at the time because she was not trying to focus on what was happening there until later and then i said dang yo Take back everything I said last week about JJ? Nah, buddy. Patience girl, 100% is her. So the bowl game that's happening, we got, they struggling out there. And I, I had a feeling too, because it was, it was being mentioned a lot about the bowl game, but then we didn't see it last week. It was like, we, want, we ain't gonna have y'all lose on, on homecoming. They already got a lot going on over there. They don't need y'all coming over there adding to their troubles. So they brought them back over to their own home turf, like show-wise to let them face that loss that way with, with their people. And I had a feeling it was gonna go well because my man, he was thinking about it a lot, right? Like, Jor. And I really feel like he was really trying to think things through. Um, but I think it was also the fact that his team was dependent on him, annoying Coach Gary, and the fact that his doc, multiple docs, then gave him the all clear. So as much as he was listening to not only his body, but his girl. I don't think he would have gone out there had he felt like he would have really been struggling or he would have re-injured himself. I think he took the appropriate steps and he really thought about it. He spoke to people about it, not just Layla girl, he spoke to other people, y'all. And although I don't think he felt 100% like he could go out there and fully play at his best, I feel like he thought he was maybe like 90% there, maybe 85 push it closer to 90 
but that was good enough, you know. He could he could make up for that other 10%. His team would have helped him make up for that other 10, 15% to, you know, help him out a little bit. But they were struggling. Side note, too, is the fact that during this game here, as the girls are watching it, who girl? She was over there cheering. I told you, she was cheering for her homie. She was like, yo, that's my boy. And Lip Girl was sitting there like that. That used to be my boy. That used to be my boo. <laughs> He coming back. Don't worry, girl. He coming back. We get Zay Zay, right? And you know what's crazy, too? Yo, when they... Take it back. Because when they first introduced Zay Zay, I was like, something don't seem right about him. Lil Zay Zay, he was not sitting well. It was not sitting right with me. And I was like, something seemed wrong, you know? He don't seem like he mean well for my man, Jor. He fake. Turns out... All right, maybe he not like 100% fake, but he be lying. I know he, I know he guilty of this, right? So they was at the game, and he ended up taking somebody out on the other team. And I was like, his little self did that, and he did. And Lip Girl, she saw it. She was like, yo, hold the around, call my papa. So she was going to go call Papa Billy. And she was like, did you see that, Papa Billy? He was at the game, him and Mama Grace, because she ain't going to Oakland yet. And he was like, Liv, I'm here. I see it, girl. I see it live. You watching it on TV. And she was like, we got to do something, Dad. He trying to calm her down. I was like, it's the fact that this dude, he really shady. I'm for it because I ain't like it from the very beginning. <laughs> Rewind a little bit. This girl, Liv, she's watching this game because she, she needs to find things out. She needs to really get everything together so she can take down Garrett for what she know he doing. What I, I'm like 90% sure he doing because she's selling me on it. And what Papa Billy fully believes, because he believes his baby girl, what he fully believes is the truth about Garrett as well. So at this game, you know, she done heard how he be paying players and giving them extra incentives to take out other players on other teams so that way his team, they could be on a come up. And now to see Lil Zay sit here and take somebody out on the other team like that and he ain't got no scholarship, that's the thing. He don't got a scholarship. Her Spence got his scholarship and he lost it that way. So he's struggling for the funds. She said, no, no, he, he was put up to this. And I said, it, it looks to be that way. Mm -hmm. Also, because Mama Grace, she had this game with him and she hears him on the phone talking to Live Girl. It sounded a little sus, which I'm talking about over there. I feel like it got something to do with my baby that's out there on that field right now. What's going on? I don't mind the fact that she wants to know. I feel like she should know if it's something that could possibly affect Spence in some way, which I think at some point is going to hit him somehow, some way. But, um... She should know because she gonna need to be there for him. Someone that he can talk to too because he don't he be going through it and it don't seem like he be going to Dr. Spears no more. So Mama Grace, she needs to be, he needs somebody on his side too that he can open up to and to talk about Lip Girl and to talk about the Garrett situation and his football stuff, you know. And she needs to be included. Who cares if she's leaving him and she's moving far, far away with her man and her other son. But at the end of the day, she still care about Spence, you know, because that's her baby boy. So she shouldn't know. So Billy ends up telling her because Mama Grace ain't going to play that. Nuh-uh. Not her. She going to get it out of you. Tell her, Billy. Because y'all know before, he was over there hot and stuff from her regarding, like, his promotion and wanting her to take this role. But knowing that her boo thing was about to be out and how he was going to propose to her. And he wasn't trying to tell her nothing. Not trying to give her no hints. Just because he wanted to use her for what he needed her for. What he wanted her for. Fast forward to like two minutes later. We found out that they ended up losing the game. But later on, we found out that Coastal won theirs. I was like, you know what's crazy? It's that back when they played against them and my man broke his hand, they could have won that Coastal because I, I ain't paying them too much attention because it's Asher. We don't really... I don't want to say we don't really care about him, but we don't. And then we got JJ, and it's it's JJ, you know? We ain't really checking for him, but when we see him, we'll be like, hey, we like him. <laughs> so now to see this, where they won this game here, and thinking back to that last game, where he could have told his coach everything that was going on with Jor, as his roomie, as a coach, Ash knew. He was like, yo, mm -mm, something ain't right over there. He looked like he hurt, and I was like, yo, you see it because you know it. This is what you do. But he still ain't even, he ain't used it to his advantage. He was like, I think he played more into the friendship of things, right? He kept it on the low between him and JJ. But they could have taken that. I'm going to need a rematch. Not to see my man Jor or Spence lose. But just, you know, a fair chance here on the field between the two of them that I feel would go... I, okay, see, I feel like it would go to Coastal just because of what they've had in the past. But I think by the time we do get a rematch... Jor and Spence, they going to be so good. The team, GAU, they going to be so mm -mm up there. 
that they won't lose in this rematch. But I do need an official, official rematch. No injuries. Speaking of Asher and JJ, we see Asher struggling with the balance of coach and friend, which they both are. Asher is over here struggling with, mm, he needs to put some, mm, some bass in his voice. You know, he speak up more, put his foot down. And JJ, he's JJ, he just, he be chilling, you know? He be doing his own thing. And to him, it don't seem like this dude be taking life seriously. But I also feel like there's a lot more to JJ that we still haven't fully seen yet. And I'm hoping that's something that builds up more over this season, just to see him open up more. Because this whole party boy and lover boy thing that he got going on, there's layers there. There's layers there. And we need to peel it back so we can get to the real JJ. Because I feel like this is only just a piece of him. I, You know what it was for me, too? I was like, oh, okay, when they bring Jamie back, I'm going to be so excited. You know, I'll give Asher more love. And now seeing Jamie back with him, really like Jamie, really love them together. But for some reason, y'all, they feel and seem like a whole old married couple. And I was just sitting here like, I can't get jiggy with this because it was not giving <laughs> to me. You know what it was? It was her coming to see her man up in the office and she's... She's sitting here like loving on him, which I don't mind it. That's your boo. You show him how much you care for him and that he's stressing a little bit with work. But it was the way she was doing it, you know. She seemed like, I don't want to say a mom because that's a little weird since they're supposed to be in a relationship. <laughs> Not supposed to be. They are. It, but it was giving mom vibes. It was giving, sweetie, what's wrong? You got this. Come on. And then they get back to the house later on. And once again, she's here trying to pick him up and tell him about his friendship with JJ, how his about coaching JJ and finding that balance and being there for him. At the end of the day, that's your friend and everything. And then you know what really pushed it over the edge for me? It was her going to get JJ. That was a straight mom move right there. You don't want to go get your friend. You don't want to be a friend to your friend right now. I'll go get your friend. And she went to go pick him up. And even the way she was talking to JJ in the car, it was like, it was giving mom, mom of the house vibe. You know, look here. I am for Jamie and Asher. What's their name? I don't have, do they even have a name? I have no clue. Jamer? I'm for Jamer, y'all. But, um, I'm gonna need this to let her go back to work that's what it is she last time we saw her wasn't she like laid up in his bed or in his room somewhere waiting for him and now she don't she got that job with his stepdaddy i'm gonna need them to show this girl like being a working woman and doing more of her own thing what does she got going on this house Cause i know waitressing is not her dream job that she wants to do i'm gonna need to see her with some more mm, some more backbone to her too because we can't have him over here mm babe he's not listening to me and they have her over here oh, babe don't worry you've got this that's your friend you have to be there for him but also be a coach you know he just needs a little push i can't take it from both i'm gonna need them both to put it up straight put them back straight and get it together because this right here ain't cutting it i think it's gonna be great for asher this might be his best not even might this is his best relationship yet i feel it but i'm just gonna need them to to pick it up a little bit more let them i don't want to see them up in his little office all the time because you're coming to visit her man at work all the time don't even don't even go there and i don't want to see them at the beach house all the time <laughs> i'm gonna need her to go with the girls more it, come on she's the one that gave them the vortex name she needs to i'll take her as being a part of this vortex she needs to go chill with the girls more go to the baker house you know invite her out for a girls night out she should have been there with them honestly no, she shouldn't have. No, take that back. But she could go off on another girls' night with them or have a little girls' night at the house because I it's just her being with Asher, it seems like, all the time. I just need to see her with more of his people, more of his friends, because I don't think she got no friends. They don't be showing her people. But you also know she's sick, right? Which, can we touch on that a little bit more? Are we going to see her in the hospital or something? I'm not trying to put her in there. But I just need more from Jamie instead of her just being Asher's girl and trying to just fully support Asher let her have her own things going on which I'm pretty sure she does we just don't be seeing more of so can we see it side note on this annoying girl coop because she was helping mama grace pack it up oh my gosh she really is going to Oakland I'm still holding on to the fact that am I I mean I don't mind if she goes to Oakland 
Nah, she could go. I, I've changed a lot, so she could dip out. We could just see her from time to time. We don't need her here all the time. Her boy is grown. She just gotta focus on little Dale and her boo thing. Cool girl, she was trying to take over the James household, right? And I was thinking about it. I said, yes, that's the move right there because think about it, y'all. She was coming for Liv because of her homeboy, you know? And I was like, girl, you staying up in her house that she invited you into when you ain't have no place else to go. I mean, she was someplace, but it was rat infested, roach infested, people infested. She couldn't stay there. So her and her girl was trying to be out, right? And speaking of her girl, her ex girl, that's what it is, her ex. And she's still up in that house. Her and Liv girl, they, they cool, they chill. They was just out, girls night out. You were not there. This is the same ex girl who you were just kissing on six weeks ago y'all the same ex-girl you were just getting it on with six weeks ago y'all the same ex-girl you had pack it up talking about oh, we gonna get away yep y'all gonna get away together and then just to come back home and be like nah psych i'm staying with sky and she had to dip out she went on vacation because she needed to get away with her mama to clear her head and she just sitting on this couch next to you chill chill yeah i'm for her and scott i'm for it i don't care it's the moment but also at the same time she knew she had things going on with scott page girl she ain't have nothing going on yeah she kissed sabine please bring her back y'all yeah she kissed her but they weren't in no kind of relationship they weren't moving anywhere that was just like a spur of the moment thing because she saw coop and sky girl over there dipping out it does not compare they had page girl thinking that they were going to be something again which i was like girl no it can't happen you know it's too soon at the time it still is too soon we can't have it right now look Paige and Coop, they're both at fault because Paige knew what was up with her and Sky. Coop knew what was up with her and Sky and where her and Paige stood at the time. But at the end of the day, Coop is still the one who is not in the best of places with these two other people up in this house, one of which is her house. And it's not like Liv Girl is kicking her out. And Coop's mom, she feels it's time for her to go. In my mind, I f in my heart, I feel it's time for her to go. So yeah, man, we all here, right? Yeah. But, kind of find out, Mama Grace, she's not bringing it out. I was like, dang, yo. She ain't moved quick enough. We get Lele, girl. Our girl, she's stressing over the only thing she's really, truly stressing negatively about right now. And that's this annoying dude, Clay. Ball-headed Clay. And the fact that this man is still taking on her artist, right? Artists that he don't even care about. We know he don't. But he's just doing it because he's trying to spite her because she done hurt his feelings. And he can't deal with that. Ain't you supposed to be grown? week now she's sitting here talking to page girl in the studio oh she's in the studio right it's their studio and not her and page her and jor jor walks in i was like i knew he's gonna come find his girl he know where she be at he got coffees right it's their favorite vanilla lattes it's page looking and she's like what are you doing here Layla girl trying to play it off <laughs> like she ain't know he was gonna come yeah, you did, girl. Like, yeah, what are you doing here, Jor? With the little snob, because you know what's up. He's here for me. I ain't about to put that out there, though. Mm -mm, we done seen what Paige has done in the past. We ain't doing that. Y'all, it's the way him and Lele are sitting here trying to play this. Like, you can't you can't tell what's up between the two of them. And I'm like, y'all don't let her in. The fact that he done showed up, and this girl is fully focused on what's happening right now. The thing with Paige, girl, if, if she don't care, she she ain't paying y'all no mind you know if it ain't nothing that is interesting her she is in her own world hence that football game that they was watching and she was just worried about herself her food her stomach but now this is her and Lele. they were talking about things that it had to do with her you know music and her career and everything and building up Lele's label she's a part of that label and they were having a whole conversation just the two of them so now this third person done walked in and she's like this is odd because why is he here you know i didn't know you two were that close for him to be making appearances at the studio Liv's not here spence isn't here but then why would he be here no one who is close to this guy or i feel patient not me because we know what's up no one i feel who is close that close to this guy is here for him to be showing up with coffee two coffees in his hand as if he was just he was prepared you know that seems odd. I said it do, right, girl? <laughs> Another thing is because I, I want it to be a secret. I love the fact that not many people know. And by many people, I mean no one outside of Simone Girl and the little inkling that Clay has knows what's up between them until now. And here's why I'm okay with it being Paige Girl. Because take it back 
to the little party they had at the Baker house and she sat there and invited Clay because she was trying to move things forward with Lele girl. Oh my gosh, I can see he's feeling you. I can tell you like him too. Girl, what? No. No. So now, since she done got barked on before, she's not about to get barked on again. So yeah, she's picking up on things, but she ain't about to put it out there. She ain't about to be minding her business, but she shouldn't be minding it, you know? And even if she is, she's going to be doing it on the low, like how she is right here, looking between the two of them with the looks that the two of them are giving to each other. And I'm like, yes, girl, I'm cool with it being you. So Jor is standing here and he's trying to play it off. He's wondering, yo, what Clay done did? And she's telling him, Clay, he... He getting everything. He has everything. And I don't even have business cards with my name on them. And that stood out to me a little bit because my man, he goes and repeats it to her. I knew this episode was about to give. And by give, Jordela. I was like, I'm here for it. Come on. So my man, he was like, what? You're Layla Keating. It was the business wise. Not text. I said, sir, what? This is what she does to him. You know, he can't hold it together around her. She can't hold it together around him. She's trying to, she's trying. Anyway, girl, patience girl sitting right here. She is fully focused. She, she done caught that. So then the phone rings, right? And she dips out. I said, this is, this is so hard <laughs> for them, not for me. So they're going back and forth about man's being funny because he's not. When this combo ended, oh, hold up. Take it back. Kati, you're tripping. Yes, I am. My man, he was talking to Patience Girl, right? As George standing there. He's right there looking at his woman sitting there looking all nice, right? In her little pink jacket. And Paige Girl is tell talking to her about the label and everything. And she was like, yeah, you know, they have a really strong PR department. And she knows the head. Since I was a little baby, since I was in diapers. I'm going to go try to get her. And Paige Girl was like, you're going to poach her? And she's like, you know, Clay took my artist. So it's only right. It was Jor coming in with the savage, with the look, the smirk, everything on his face as he looks at his woman because she's the only one in the room for him. As she stares back at him and she's smiling because he's the only one in the room for her. <laughs> oh wait, Paige is there. Paige gets the phone call and she dips out. This is his opportunity to now come cop a squat because come on, I'm just trying to get close to my girl and you taking up all the space in her vicinity and I gotta get there. So he went to go find it. Lele girl, she come getting real comfortable with her man. She put the little foot underneath her. She all leaning. I said, get a little bit closer. And she talking to him now because he ain't funny, right? And I was like, now that I think about it, none of the guys are funny at all. Not even JJ. JJ's like stupid funny, but it's not like, is that mean? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But they're not funny. Except that one line that Spence had when he was like, um, I want to be traded. That was, that was funny. <laughs> the timing on that was perfect. So they end their conversation from what we can see. Who knows how long he was actually up in there with her and Paige, you know, just to be there with her, even if someone else was there. He ain't minded. He did, but you know, for the time, for what he had to take, he ain't mind it. Who knows how long he was really in there. But from what we could see, they end their conversation with her not believing, you know, he could he could tell the joke. And from that, I was like, yo, we're about to get an episode filled with them. Them. That's it. It's just them. Him trying to prove he's funny. <laughs> and that's what they gave us. Your Lily girl who ends up going to the office and before she heads in, Jory's over here texting her some cheesy jokes. And I was like, yeah, no, stop trying, buddy. No, actually, keep trying. But that ain't funny. So now she goes in. You know, at least she goes in with a little smile on her face because it's not funny at all. But he's texting me. <laughs> That's my man. Goes into here. She sees she gets blown off from this meeting. But she ends up meeting with Gia Girl, right? And Gia Girl does not seem like she's too happy. Gia Girl is letting it flow from her mouth. She is spilling everything. And Layla Girl was like, this might actually be better than what I came here for to begin with. And she's a fan of Paige, y'all. So they end up inviting Gia out to this girls' night out with her, Paige, and Liv Girl, who they try and get out the house because we won't get to watch. She needs to get out the house, but then she was still struggling even out the house. But while they're at this girls' night, Gia Girl, you know, she's not getting the best. She's getting a cold shoulder from Liv Girl over here because she's over here to her right side. And everything that's going on between her, Liv, and Paige, it seemed like it's going good. Turns out it's an interview because Lele girl, she was like, yo, she don't seem like she's happy there and I need somebody. She seems like she's really good at her job. She's a big fan of my artist. She seems like she sees the potential in my artist. Not even seems like she, I know she sees it. She knows 
what my artist could be because this girl had a whole plan visualized for Paige girl this gonna be good I was like it is while she's at this meeting though right she's getting texts the whole time text the whole time I know they didn't show us all of them her boo thing is texting her he's still trying to make her laugh it's not working but it's still keeping a little smile on her face it's keeping her distracted you know so she's not just all focused on her work because she needs to have a life outside of the studio. She needs to have a life outside of this label. He is her life. That's a fact. So now, fast forward to them later on in the evening. Live Girl, she done dipped out from Girls Night Out. Her and Paige, they finish up with Gia Girl. And I was like, that seemed like it went well. I feel like I really like Gia Girl for them. The three of them as a business. She could be included in the group with Liv and everybody as friends possibly but as a business i like this dynamic between Paige, lily girl and gia girl so now we get back to the studio as she's walking in and she sees the thing on the table i said no stop it here's what it is y'all it's the fact that they're walking in and they're talking about live girl checking on live girl to make sure everything was i right, following the meeting because of how she was acting towards gia and they know everything that she's going through with spence and her article and everything so patient was talking to her trying to check on live and see how live is doing lele girl is telling her right as she's walking in but she notices the box on the table it's the stalling for me look she walks in and you already know before they walk in there they're already having conversation like they were already smoothly talking and when you have a conversation it's it's normal you know conversation is flowing and that's what it seemed like as they walk through that door Paige girl goes straight to the little tea station she's making herself some tea i'm pretty sure that was tea i would have preferred it to be coffee but i know <coughs> her vocals she gotta make sure they stay strong tea so she's making herself a cup and her back is turned to lele Lele walks in and she sees the box there that says hilariously yours and I said yours him yours equals him Jay and she picks it up as she's picking it up it's her not being able to fully think of what she's saying because yeah you know she knows what's happening with Liv and she's talking about Liv and everything but she can't get the thoughts that she wants to fully come to her mind because she's so focused and distracted by this box in her hand put here by her man i said this is why i'm also cool with pace girl knowing what's going on because ain't no way somebody's in here talking to y'all was just talking regular casually coming up in the studio probably on the way to the studio y'all roll here together and now this person is now stalling all of a sudden and you're not turning around to see what's distracting them what's causing them to stop talking at a steady steady pace here to you as they just were that's how you mind your business that's how you mind your business because let my girl enjoy this in peace so she takes the box and she walks over right come to find out y'all gia girl come on she's now part of the team and i was like yes i'm going to love this they gonna need a bigger studio though soon because it's a little tight in here they are now hitting it off they already hit it off but now it's like it's full on the three of them because they're not gonna be a team and i'm for this right here these three as a business Lele girl, she gets back to this box at hand as they start talking. I said, that's right, go distract yourself so she can open up her box because I know what's in there, girl. She pulls it out and this dude had the my name on it. The laugh I let out because y'all was cute, it was cheesy, it was funny. <laughs> also too, that's why she sat here and laughed and she texted her man. This is what killed it for me. I didn't want anything to kill it, but this definitely killed it for me. When it gets over to Jorman, he picks up his phone and her name pops up. Once they get official, official, I'm going to need some, some cute little names or emojis next to their names in their phone. But what killed it for me? They going to have to give my man an iPhone or something. The emojis that popped up, what was that, like a Samsung or something? Don't come for me, people with Samsungs. I don't know what kind of phone that was he has. Layla girl got an iPhone, so her emojis and stuff on her phone, they look good. Him with them huge faces and the huge cheesy looking hearts they had on there i was not taking those emojis they look so low budget that it killed the whole thing i said no no take me to the next scene <laughs> hold on but they're coming y'all and they're coming so fast because they try where they are struggling to try as much as he want to be like 
I'm gonna love whatever this is that we're doing here, you know, the teasing, the trying to resist, and her trying to resist, no. I'm like, thank goodness y'all are so weak when it comes to the both of y'all. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna get y'all so soon, and we're ready. Let's go. Spence and Liv, y'all. We have Liv Girl at the top, and she's focused on this article. She's watching the game and everything, talking to her dad about it. She goes to talk to her dad about it, and they're just trying to make sure they have everything in order. Papa Billy, he wants to make sure, legit, legit, they have everything in order, everything they can to back up this story here. And then also, I'm like, sir, this is her story, too, and yeah, you're all on board for it because you believe her but don't be sitting here trying to take over like this girl was the one who started this journey this is her thing you know and she's putting in the work to get all this information and yeah you were at the game but like look at her she was back home watching the game and she was picking up on this stuff too because she cares this much about it so don't be sitting here trying to take over what is hers relax settle down live girl is ready she is ready to bring all this to light she's ready to get this story out there she's ready to take down coach garrett so she can get back to her man now when she goes to jor here's my thing about her coming to him when she approaches him on campus i was like for me, it wasn't the story. It wasn't in a place where you had all of the information I felt to back it up, you know? Initially, I didn't feel like you should be coming to him until you had a solid, solid thing that you could show him all of this information that would honestly make him see what the situation was, you know, where what this article really is for you. She came to him and she's using the Zeze thing as an example of him taking out the player on the field and the fact that he no longer has his scholarship because it went to Spence and for Jor me seeing it and I'm trying to see it the way Jor would see it why he's reacting this way to hearing this news is because him and Zayzay hit it off they were both struggling in the beginning trying to get on a team considered him I want to say a friend he could send him a little little friendly friend a little kind of friend on the field kind of off the field a little bit you know teammate but also this is his teammate you know one band one sound one team one sound pretty much same thing so now to sit here and have your sister who there's already been a situation before where she's come after one of the players on the team and look how that turned out so now to have something else and it seems like she's constantly coming after your team and this is this is your football career right here that's your coach and it feels like yo girl ain't you ever gonna let up I didn't mind it from Liv's point of view because I know she's on to something. Me, I know she's on to something. But for Joy, he's going to need more information than you just showing him Zay Zay. Until we got to later where they're at this party and he approaches Zay Zay. He brings it up, which I was like, yo, come on, my man. You're... He do not be caring. This dude was just putting it out there. You know why? Because he was at this party texting his girl the whole time. He ain't have no cares. He was like, you know, whatever. I'm just going to go approach this dude because my sister's sitting here trying to mess with me again. Mess with my team. And I can't be having that. But let me just send this text real quick. All right, come on. Zay Zay, yo, did you do that on purpose? And Zay Zay took offense to it. He was like, what? No. I was like, guilty. So now, Jor is on his radar. He's on Jor's radar. So then later on, when he sees this man, Coach Garrett, gives Zay Zay back his scholarship, I said, look at that. He just needed more. That's the thing. I I get it from Jor's point of view. I can see it from both sides. Siblings fight. Yeah, they're twins. But him and Liv haven't always had the best relationship between the two of them. And to look back now, recent times, where this isn't the first time that it's been a situation with her regarding an article that she's working on in your team so for you it's like yo why are you why are you still sticking with this and you already lost your relationship not to be funny but it's already come between you and your relationship can't you let up she can't let up because she's on to something she's gonna get that relationship back as soon as she get this under control because this is actually leading somewhere good and i'm like let her go come on we just gotta get you to see it now and now he's seeing it because there's proof there that's starting to back it up you know say he got this scholarship back that's exactly what she was saying how he ain't have no funds so he was putting an assignment take that dude out and i'm gonna give you some money and he did it and now look pockets is full tuition paid also with lip girl because she's going through it y'all yeah, she's focusing on this story. She wants to get this story out. Her girls are trying to get her out. So girls night out, she kind of, she was acting up just a little bit. She definitely was not even going front. That is the love of her life. 
and she's sitting at this table and she's seeing this stuff y'all know how she loved to browse she be loving to scroll and she's scrolling through yard yak and she's seeing him on yard yak and it's not even him by himself so to sit here and have this dude look at everything y'all have been through you and him you and spence everything y'all have been through and y'all just broke up they just j u s t y'all broke up and he's out here at this party you're seeing him dancing he was just dancing with you like that not too long ago you thought those dance moves was just for you no and now he's sharing them and you're like yo how you moving on this quickly when you know we meant to be together you know we're the love of each other's life he know that too y'all because take us back my man spence this is they not over not forever just for right now it's a temporary break my man spence is going through it and he wants to get out you know they're about to go party it up him and his boys the only one that's really invested in this partying is jj jj for the most part spence he gonna try it out he gonna see how it is Dork, he gonna be there for his homie but like i said he got his woman he gonna be at that party distracted by his woman ash he got his girl she waiting at home for him wifey you know so it's just jj and spence who is trying to see if he can get back out there i was not convinced you know i i already knew from the beginning i was like this ain't gonna go nowhere nowhere really for him he gonna try he gonna fail and that's exactly what he did he gets to this party he's trying to talk to other girls <laughs> it's the fact that his female friends on campus he only got one it's davida which i realized i'm not like I'm not the biggest fan of Davida. Not that I don't like her, but she's just blah. blah. <laughs> that sounds so mean. I'll take her as she can pop up from time to time, maybe as just strictly a friend. Who knows? <gasps> Hold, Dad. But wait, Coop got Sky Girl right now. She can't have Davida. After Sky Girl, she can probably take a swing with Davida before she make her way back to Paige. Is that weird? No. You know why? Because I was never convinced that the Vita girl was trying to get with Spence. I figured it was just a little friendship thing they had going on there. So, Coop and, Coop and Davida? Let me not, because Coop is kind of annoying me right now, and I'm not the biggest fan of Davida, so she can stay where she at. No, no, no. Leave her with her girl that was at that party. So, back to Spence, my mans. This is why I took what this was and i looked at it as a positive him trying to move on and him failing to do so really quickly too looking at it as it was happening i was like this dude is really out here trying he's trying to distract himself from the hurt he feels from missing her from wanting her and he's trying to do that by getting with someone else a distraction for now it's not working for him and that's why i loved it because i said ah, back 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 not even to the top matter of fact yeah take us back to the top top season one he was with kia girl first we ain't see it but we know he was originally with kia girl that was his little boo thing for a little bit there but it wasn't meant to be him and kia girl break up and he eventually gets with layla him and layla get together officially and they both think this is something he thinks this is something deep he's able to move on from his last relationship that was with kia girl you know kia asked me what changed you <laughs> stop their dating for a little while there until she starts really battling with her depression things are going downhill for her she needs help things end and he has that slip up with kia girl it doesn't go anywhere after that but he still goes back to her and actually sleeps with her so now fast forward him and Layla girl you know what I'm, I'm in a place where I can do this. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> no, it's so weird talking about the two of them because what? So now they get back in their relationship, but he's so into someone else. We know who it is. He is so into her over here. This is his love that he cannot have who he truly wants, but he over here trying to make it work with you. Yeah, no. So fast forward, y'all break up, break up. It's official. Things are done, done. And now he gets his woman, his true woman, the love of his life. These are going good for a while there, you know, until they're not. And there's things that they need to work on. So this is the love of his life. She, live girl, is the love of his life. And they're going to find their way back. But just look at this here. They just broke up not too long ago. And this man is trying to do what he's done in the past because he has done it. 
and it's worked. He's gone through with it fully in the past. But now, no, he cannot. He tried, he's at this party, he's struggling just to talk to other girls. He tries his best. I knew it took all, everything in him to bring this girl back to the house. He brings her back. And do y'all see all the work he's trying to put in in that bathroom to, to work himself up, to build himself up, to get back out there and do what it is he feel like he, he should do, you know, to try to get over her, to try not to think about her, but she's all he can think about. She's all he wants. No, it is not working. I said, that's how you know. That's his true love right there. He could do it before. He ain't care before. No other girls. Come on, Layla included. He ain't care before, but live girl? No, he can't. Uh-uh, it ain't that easy. And it will never be that easy for him. Let's go, Spence. I say you struggle. You struggle because we ain't having this. Y'all, the only thing that sucked about it is the fact that live girl sees him on yard yak and she sees him... As it, as it appears, you know, he's out and he's at this party. It looks like he's moving on, or at least trying to, but in her eyes, because of her being hurt too, it looks like he's moving on and you see him with another girl and it's like, yo, we just broke up. But us knowing, well, me knowing, I'm like, girl, don't even worry about it because he's struggling over there. He definitely is. So they just need to talk it out. And I'm hoping that this comes up, you know, just so he can let her know, yo, nothing happened. I couldn't even, I couldn't even do it, boo. I'm sorry I even tried to and I, he better he better apologize he better do it because come on man we already got these things that we're working on between the two of y'all we can't be adding girls in the mix like this and you trying to clean up your mess you know I'm trying here Spence I'm trying to trying to stick up for you brother let's go y'all we're gonna see this week this week yo we're on episode two and they are giving to us everything, everyone. No, not everyone. I take that back. But they're giving to us, and we're only two episodes in, man. This is so good. It was worth the wait. It definitely was. So that is everything for today. And I'm going to see y'all all next time. Peace.